hi this is gk and you're watching gklt channel where i am uploading videos regarding english grammar linguistics literature in today's video i'm going to give you 500 idiomatic phrases which are also known idioms so these all thing will be given to you along with meanings along with examples at the end i'll be giving you practice after which you will be having full command over these idiom and you will be able to use these old idiomatic phrases. So let's get into it. <clears throat> so the first idiom that we have is fit as a fiddle, meaning being in good health, or we say in good condition. So I'll give you some example. My cousin had got accident last week but now he is as fat as a fiddle or uh, I say I was ill but now I am as fit as a fiddle it means in Urdu and Hindi kemeti huabi or I got operation uh, last month but now I am fit as a fiddle so it was the first uh, idiom hopefully you would uh, have learned it so let's go into another one miss the boat miss the boat mean when it is too late for something like you are thinking about something or uh, in urdu hindi we say ke aap jab kisi cheez ke liye late ho jaye to tabhi hum yahi idiom istemal karte hain uh, jaisa ke you should go only for the test otherwise you can miss the boat mean you can uh, get late for that so you have to, uh, to be uh, you have to go early there everyone should come on time otherwise they can miss the boat they can miss the boat so it was another idiom that uh, you should learn and you should write in your notebook the third one piece of cake this idiom is word widely used by people in casual conversation for example uh, first of all, we have to know the meaning of it, a task or job that is easy to complete. You can keep eye on this definition, a task or a job that is easy to complete. Learning English is a piece of cake. Piece of cake bahut asan. Or I will complete this project because it is a piece of cake for me. Or uh, uploading videos regarding English language is a piece of cake for me. So piece of cake for me means very easy when something is very easy for you. Another one slake of slake of uh, waste of time or we can also say when you uh, have to lose something like uh, you are losing energy so that time we use slake of or slacken of. Uh, as I have given some examples here you can look here. Ali always slacks off by watching movie like uh, he just wastes the time by watching movie or uh, I say nowadays the young generation uh, slack off by uh, playing PUBG or other games uh, <clears throat> I say we have done a lot of work so we have to slack off for some time it means we have to lose we have to sit for some time it could become in that category as well as mean to take uh, as a positively okay don't slack off in your studies make sure you stay focused at work and do not slack off slack off mean time zaya karna or in other word jab aap kabhi bahut zyada tak jate hai so up after that you just slack off for some time so in that case we can also use this idiom under the weather under the weather uh, mean <clears throat> when you get sick so that time you can say you could tell the people that I am under the weather means that I am so sick uh, here I have given you some example uh, in Urdu we would say Bimar I am under the weather nowadays mean uh, I am sick nowadays so uh, another example whoever studies day and night feels under the weather or some of my friends they just message me that we are under the weather so we cannot come to the institute for uh, <coughs> combined study another idiom about to about to means ready to so for example I'm about to upload this video or David is about to go to London Sana, Sana is about to leave for Delhi 
So what would be the structure of it? Subject plus B B mean helping verb then after date about to then first palm up verb and then object so this phrasal verb or agent we use for future planning like for example if we are ready for something and we are going to do that in future so for in that condition we use about to give someone the x uh, it means to fire someone or to, dis or to dismiss someone from the job here okay here it is to fire someone kisi ko job se nikalna ya kisi ko naukari se nikalna for example my boss gave me the axe mere boss ne mujhe job se nikal diya or bob didn't complete his project on time so the boss gave him the axe bob ne apna jo project tha wo time pe complete nahi kiya to iski wajah se bob us boss ne use job se nikal diya so i can simply say that uh, Company, companies are giving uh, employees the eggs due to coronavirus so in that case we can also use it like instead of someone you can you can use a possessive case <coughs> clear or uh, you can use someone name so that would be easy for uh, everyone then okay fuddy duddy fuddy duddy a person who follows the old fashion or uh, here i have also uh, written the meaning of it old fashioned uh, a person who follows old fashion. One of my friend is Fuddy Daddy. Merak dose jo ke purane khayalat ya purane zamane ka hai jo ke purane fashion follow karta hai. Our Fuddy Daddy people aren't smart and intelligent. They do they cannot be smart or they do not have such a mentality to cope with nowadays uh, youngsters. So hit the nail on the head. Uh, to be right when you say something uh, according to other opinion are they uh, th those uh, uh, sentences that you utter are uh, said to be correct so at that time we say that uh, you hit the nail on the head so one of my students usually hits the nail on the head while giving presentation or my younger brother hit the nail on the head here I didn't use S, so uh, it means that I use here simple past tense. <clears throat> the nail on the head while talking over the problem. It means he just uh, got to the uh, right place, a uh, right position. So that's why I can use this idiom whenever I, s I tell someone that you are right, you are correct, you are going on a right path. So at that time, no do we say, Abdik farmara hai, Abdik bata hai, Hit the bullseyes. They both have same meaning here. To be right, mean to be correct. <clears throat> so I would use it. Shazia always hits the bullseyes while making a decision. Jabbi Shazia ek pesala leti hai, to wo tik tarase pesala leti hai. Our David hits the bullseyes while giving presentation. So the same uh, 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 sentence I have instilled here with David. So I think these two idioms are a piece of cake for you to. Uh, learn them. Uh, diff ear, diff ear, or we say diff ear, but that is that could be said diff ear to ignore someone. Or uh, uh, mostly, I give diff ear to my students when they ask uh, such question. They are ambiguous. Our Musa gives a diff ear to his friends. Our teacher shouldn't give diff ear to his friends. So here are some examples that you can learn. Okay, uh, let's go into another idiom. As sharp as a tank means so much intelligence, so much smart. I say Smith as Smith is as sharp as a tank in his class. Or I say uh, Imran Khan is one of the uh, prime minister who is as sharp as a tank and who is handling uh, all the country. So in that case, we can also use as sharp as a tape. Bohot tez, bohot shalak. <clears throat> hunky dory. Hunky dory means feeling fine. I'm good. I'm uh, doing well. 
so you when whenever someone asks you that how are you so you can simply answer them that I'm hunky dory uh, when I ask my students about their health they say we all are hunky dory that we all are fine so in that case you can use it a piece of cake as I told you that a piece of cake means uh, a task that can be accomplished very easily so I think we did it so no need to do it again like uh, uh, using laptop a piece of cake for me or uh, eating biryani or cooking biryani is a piece of cake for me apple of my eye someone who is cherished above all others like my father my father is an apple of my eye or I say <coughs> uh, uh, nowadays the lovers of their beloved are apple of their eyes so in that case we can say uh, or I say that my daughters are apples of my eyes or my daughter is an apple of my eyes so in that case we can use it backseat driver people who criticize from the sidelines much like someone uh, giving unwanted advice from the back seat of a vehicle to the driver. Or we say, wo banda jise koi poochya, koi bhi poochta na ho kisi opinion ke liye aur wo apne aap se koi opinion deta ho to tabhi hami yehi idiom istemal karte hain. Jis tarah, when I drive a car, my brother becomes a back seat driver. Or I say, don't become a back seat driver, otherwise nobody will focus you. Or I say, I have many friends who are backseat drivers. They always give their opinions without, uh, uh, without asking them or without they are being asked. So in that case, we can say, uh, tell someone that don't be a backseat driver because I haven't asked you anything. Bite your tongue to avoid talking. Like for example, you are standing in a school, you are standing in a class and you tell the students, would you please bite your tongue? So in that case, we can say, bite your tongue. Could you please bite your tongue? Because we are taking class. Or could you please bite your tongue? One of our friends is giving presentation.